we are out here, tomato horn where I'm hunting. Look at. Oh, let me get to the other side. <laughs> Go and put me on the other side. We're out here tomato hornworm hunting and look at that. Massive, massive thing. Do you need to find this it? This tail almost got me. <laughs> uh, he was munching down on that right there. Yeah, he... Uh, He's eating our tomatoes. We could see the damage, but we couldn't see him in the daylight, so we came out with the black light to find him. And we sure did. Did you drop him? You better kill him. We only found one hornworm, which is a plus, but he was a monster hornworm. And then... Jay flung him. <laughs> but you know, I don't think he survived the, the fall. It sounds so pretty out here. Go on a family walk to pick some berries. No, that cat is. That's not Bob's cat. Holy moly. Say thank you to our neighbor. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob. Oh, goodness. The wasp is, uh, oh, we got right in the sun. I can't see the wasp. <gasps> I'm going to get stung with this thing. <laughs> I'm going to leave him to the wasps. And I'm going to come pick over here where there's just pretty flowers and big berries. Everywhere. This is a lot of berries. Everywhere. Everywhere. Letting everybody pick while I sit back and watch. There's a lot of wasps. Waspuses. Waspies. They're eating the berries as they're picking them. Sneaking up on little berry eaters. You left them all. Owie. Jay's sweet talking the berries. And they're not being sweet. No, back. they're still being mean. <laughs> ow, ow. See? Our neighbor up the road has a bunch of blackberries that they are growing um, to obviously use for themselves, but he stopped by the other day and told us that he had a whole five gallon bucket full, so he um, told us that we could come up and get some for us to use, so taking advantage of that. And then, you know, jumping in the pool because it's like 100 degrees out here. So, a little bit of pool, a little bit of work, a little bit of pool again, right? We got a pretty good amount, but um, we didn't even make it halfway down their little patch Trellis. or row or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we realized that we were filling up the pool and <laughs> we almost forgot about it. So, we had to run back and... Make sure it wasn't overfilling. Yeah. <laughs> but these are some ginormous berries. And they're sweet. And we've already got like mm. six pounds of berries in the house. I think so, yeah. <laughs> we're we're Quite berry picking fools. Yay. <laughs>
we've been uh, getting some work done around here. We've been working on getting our deck built and I've been actually really horrible at remembering to grab the camera to try to film any of the work we've been doing over the last couple of days. Uh, but it's kind of hard to film and screw and cut wood and all of that at the same time. So the plan is to make this deck go all the way to the end of this side of the house and then come back up around the back. But uh, it's starting to look good. We're getting there. Okay, so we actually haven't announced this publicly until now, but we actually lost... Um, all of the babies except for one from Chestnut's first litter due to a bacterial infection and um, all seven of them passed within 48 hours and there was really nothing that we could do to stop it from happening. Um, we disinfected and we did everything that we could around that time and it was really it was really kind of hard on us because we um, weren't expecting it and it just kind of came out of nowhere. We did talk to uh, vet tech and, and other people about what was going on and it was kind of an inevitable thing. So we do have one as you've seen in some of the videos and she has a floppy ear because she's kind of a um, an escape artist really. She hops back and forth between her uh, chestnut's cage and old man's cage and um, old man has kind of adopted her as his own too so he'll actually help her nudge her way over to the other side and at one point when she was jumping through she broke her ear so from all the research we've done once they break their ear the ear will just be floppy for the rest of their life so she's our little cutie that we're keeping we did check her gender and it is for sure a girl so she will become a breeder, and we named her Alice, as in Alice in the Wonderland, um, going down the rabbit hole, because she just keeps jumping back and forth between the hole. She's so tall. Um, but because we only had her survive, we did a thing the other day, and... Um, our brother-in-law actually had picked up some rabbits and bought them off of him. So now we have four brand new female lion head rabbits. And the girls, because they're female, we are probably going to keep uh, the majority of them for breeders. And just breed, we're going to get a male lion head eventually and breed lion heads versus the New Zealand and see which one we like better, which one is um, easier to care for or larger or see if there's even a difference at all. Um, and the girls are excited to give them names since they are going to be breeders. We did say that uh, they could pick the names for them. Jalen actually helped pick out the name for uh, Chestnut's baby, Alice. Um, which we thought was pretty fitting. Those are the new ladies on the homestead and uh, we're looking forward to see how things go with them. We actually won't be breeding them until October so we will have from now until then to find a um, male lion head to breed with them to see how well they do. to show you guys this. It's blooming! I actually just came out here to walk through the garden and um, seen it and pulled my phone out and had to show you guys. I have like three or four hummingbirds and a wasp chasing each other around the bird feeder. <laughs> um, anyway, I seen that and just had to show you guys, and here's another thing that I absolutely have to show you. This tomato is blushing.
that's that giant full-size hand tomato that I'm pretty excited to get to weigh and see how big it is anyway I better turn off this camera otherwise I'm gonna ruin anything that may come by the end of the week